What's up guys, Logic Over Emotion, and in this one we are going to be talking about Major League Soccer and them kneeling for the anthem because apparently, you know, they didn't get the memo and they see how well it's working for everyone else, so they wanted a piece of the action. So let's talk about it. All right, guys, as always, before we begin the video, make sure you like this video, comment on this video, share the video. If you're not a normal viewer here at Logic Over Emotion, consider hitting that subscribe button. We'd love to have you because here we bring the hard truth when others are busy virtue signaling. So let's get into the content. Major League Soccer. Uh, we had a Dallas team and Nashville team or something that were playing. I don't really follow soccer, um, so I'm not going to have a lot of specific details for you. However, those two teams met. They had a crowd of about 25% occupancy, uh, so a couple thousand, probably two or 3,000 people, and they decided to kneel for the anthem, and they were booed, and they had objects thrown at them. And what's interesting about this whole situation is not even that. That is what I expected. What I didn't expect is when they talked to a player after the game, and they asked him, you know, you guys decided to kneel, you were booed, how did that make you feel? And this is so interesting that, that, they, that he could respond this way and not see the irony, right? So he says that it was disgusting and that he couldn't believe that, you know, for them standing up for something they believe in, um, that, uh, you know, people would, would treat them that way. Now, I would say, well, how do you think people feel right because it, 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 what's interesting is he said that they had talked to the league and they had said they had actually requested that the anthem not be, been even played uh and so when it went against their their will uh their request they decided to kneel <laughs> this this right here is what's wrong with everything right so even if you support again 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 even if you support black lives matter how can you support the movement? How can you put that ugly crap on your shirt? How can you do the kneeling thing? You know, raise your hand. Black Lives Matter is a good concept, but the organization is where the problem is. The fact that the organization has no problem uh, inflicting injury on people who disagree with what they're saying. The fact that, I mean, you here recently had BLM, uh, I, I believe it was one of the co-founders, who, who said the looting were, was reparations and that that was okay. Not even realizing that in doing that, you're, you're costing jobs of the people that you claim to be protecting and caring about. But anyway, that's a, a topic for another day. But you sit here and you complain right about the fact that you can't shove something in someone's face they're there to watch you play soccer dude not be an activist okay save that for a different time i can't think of any other occupation where like i, I could just see see it now me going into the office and you know instead of doing my my job i'm sitting here complaining about something that's not even related to to what i'm there for like really like play the game and shut up it's not that hard I mean, if you have all of these people who boo you, are you saying, and see, this is where the, 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 the logic breaks down that I don't understand. Do you guys think that booing equates to people not supporting that cause, right? It's like you guys are oversimplifying it because what you would be saying in that instance is that America as a whole is racist since most people don't like seeing that crap in their sports. And that's not at all the case. We are aware of Black Lives Matter, but this is the thing. What does kneeling in a game with, with some symbols on your, your shirt, what is that actually accomplishing? And more than that, you have to then do it by disrespecting the flag, the anthem, and the country. Things that people fought for. You're sitting out on that field make, probably making millions of dollars, and then you're going to complain during the national anthem, something that's supposed to be unifying. This is a thing. I don't know if, if you guys are on, on a, a different flavor of Kool-Aid that I've never heard of or something, but you guys need to learn to stop buying into what the left is saying about those that don't support Black Lives Matter as a movement, as an organization, okay? All lives matter, right? And like I said, crime 
it, uh, negative interactions between minorities and the police, all of that is going down, has been going down. The only thing that is more racist is the perception, right? And that's because of what our media is doing. They're not being objective. They're, they have an agenda and they're extremely dedicated to pushing that. We have the media, the social platforms, the big tech companies, sports, schools, Everybody is pushing this empty agenda that is causing more hurt than um, benefit to anybody. And then all of this money is being funneled through Black Lives Matter to these Democratic politicians. It's a cycle. And you guys don't want to break yourself out of it. It's a cycle. You guys get them money. You get them votes. You get them in office. They do bad policy create a bunch of problems for you, blame everything on the right, and then you say, oh, no, we got to do something, and so we're going to go vote Democratic again, and the process repeats. It's hysterical that you guys have yet to learn. But anyway, welcome to the club, Major League Soccer. I, I, why, why would you expect any difference? Why? It, whatever. You, you guys are just never going to get it. You're too busy trying to Look down upon people from your high pedestals where you're just greater than everyone else. You you see something that no one else sees. No, the reality is you're so disconnected from reality up in your penthouse. You're so disconnected from the common person. You know, uh, uh, go take a stroll in, in Walmart. Or like I always tell people, if you're so, at, you know, talk about black lives, black lives, black lives, and you don't want to talk about the inner city crime, go to the inner city. Go hang out for a little bit. OK, like I said, I'm, I'm, I would rather solve that problem first than worry about these few people that are dying at the hands of the cops. That's just that's just the reality for me. But anyway, I could rant on this forever. I just wanted to, to make another one, because, again, these sports get it together, man. Like, understand that the people have spoken. OK, it doesn't matter. And, and, and like I said, in other videos, you guys are just trying to be politically correct. Stop with the nonsense. It's OK to, to lay the responsibility and the accountability at the feet of the people it belongs to. OK, that that I have no problem doing that. OK. And like I said, all of this stuff about inequality. No, I'm sorry. Nobody's nobody's buying into it. OK, everyone has equal opportunity. If you want to use your 24 hours in a day to do foolish nonsense that doesn't get you anywhere, then don't complain at the end of the day. But if you want to grind it out and have something in life, those opportunities are there. And all of us who have woken up and realized they're there, we're taking advantage of it. And y'all are still sitting there crying, expecting someone to hand y'all something for free. Well, you know what? That's fine. Y'all can, can keep sitting there because you know what? I already know nothing, is, and nothing in life is free. And if that's, excuse me, if that's how you're going to uh, you know, think you're going to accomplish anything, you're, gonna, you're in for a rude awakening. Okay, because nothing's free. And so everything you advocate for, it, it, it just doesn't make any sense. But I'm going to leave this for right here because, like I said, I could go on and on and on and on and on about this. Um, you guys let me know in the comment section below. What do you think about Major League Soccer following the trend? The trend where it, it was already, it, people have already told you what's going to happen. You already know the ratings are going to go down. And again, stop with this. You're doing something for a higher cause because you're not. You're being foolish, you're being stupid, and you're promoting an organization that's hurting people. Stop being stupid. But anyway, that's going to be it for this one. Make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe, share the video, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you're notified anytime I release a video. I'm out of here. You guys take care.